curious about vegetables, talk to Iswes Seed. Hello everyone, welcome back to Around the Vegetable. My name is Lisette Lacambra. I'm the Technical Specialist of Iswa Seed Knowledge Transfer and I'm your host for this program. We are here today with a special guest, Sylvie Desil. She's the Knowledge Manager of Iswa Seed Knowledge Transfer and we're very glad to have her here to talk about a special or important topic on vegetable production. Hello Sylvie, Hello. how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Lisette. So tell us more about your work. Uh, what can I say about my work? I've been working for four and a half years with East West Seed Knowledge Transfer, putting in place learning uh, system with different audience uh, to get a continuous flow of communication and knowledge. Uh, it's, doesn't, it's not as smooth as it sounds. Sometimes it needs reflection, sometimes it needs uh, problem solving, discussion, compromise, engagement. That looks very challenging, Sylvie. Yes, and very interesting to work closely with people. Yeah, and that brings us to our episode, our topic for today. It's about the farm record. Yeah, it's um, a good initiative you fostered and supported for knowledge transfer. Why is it important? It is important because recording all the details uh, in a farm and in crops is mm -hmm. not easy. And we observe that farmers are not capable all the time to remember everything they do on the crop. They cannot tell us about the economic results or their productivity. Mm -hmm. Many farmers um, are taking decisions based on their cash flow. Mm -hmm. And often they are buying too much uh, inputs mm -hmm. or applying too much inputs at time that is not mm -hmm. needed. Good records allow good decision making. Mm -hmm. You can't improve if you can't measure. And you cannot measure accurately what you did not record, right? What could a farm record look like, Sylvie? A farm record can be just a simple notebook where farmers just record everything that is happening on their farm, on their crop. It's a tool not only for compiling uh, economic results but also decision on crop management at time. For example, if a farmer encounters a problem in his field, he will write the details of the problem in the farm report and the details of the decision. He can then discuss with the extension officer and other fellow farmers. The farm record becomes a learning tool for the farmer and can be used as references for next crops. Yeah, I like the idea of um, this uh, farm record as uh, becoming a learning tool for farmers. Can you show us more about this? Yeah, I yeah. can show you. <laughs> yes. Okay, I have one here. Yes, please. <laughs> it's a motor. Okay. <laughs> so we are giving um, guides to farmers. Uh, these guides have recommendations and the farmers need to adapt them to their own situation. Mm. So in the farm record, so simple notebook, you open it, you have the crop guide, it's a reference. And the farmers actually record the actual situation, mm -hmm. the actual data. So at the end of the crop, you can reflect and look at these decisions and mm -hmm. uh, make it as a reference for himself for the next crop. Mm -mm. This is good because when extension workers and other farmers around the, the field or the farm visits the, the farmer, then he can just present the record and reflect with it. Also, the other farmers learn from his best uh, practices that he applied in his farm. But I have a question, Sylvie. Is this easy to implement or does it work in all situations? It should be easy, but it's not. Mm -hmm. And it's not just the farmers we need to train, it's mm -hmm. also the extension officer. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the farm record becoming an analytical and decision-making tools are mm -hmm. concepts that we practice and experience by extension mm -hmm. officers and farmers. And the extension officers are key. Uh, they have a key role to play uh, to, to help farmers to discuss, to observe, to record what is happening mm -hmm. at their farm, mm -hmm. uh, to make uh, to build the capacity of farmers to be more confident in taking the best decisions. It sounds like the big effort comes on educating farmers and also the field staff on how and why to keep records, right? Mm -hmm. So let's um, have a glimpse on what is happening in the field and let's hear from Bagya Daswain. He's one of our technical staff in India. 
एटी अब हम इसलिए यूज कर रहे हैं हमको बेनिफिट मिल फ्यूचर में डिसीजन लेने के लिए प्लानिंग करने के लिए हमारा जो खर्चा हुआ है इस चीज लगा था कौन सा पेस्टिसाइड डाला था इससे वेराइटी में डाला था इसी सीजन में वेराइटी किया था तो फ्यूचर में प्लानिंग करने के लिए हमको मदद मिलेगा और टोटल इनपुट खर्चे करने के बाद कितने हमको आउटपुट मिल रहे तो उसका हमें रिकॉर्ड मिलेगा थैंक यू बाग्यादार बट सिल्वी रिकॉर्डिंग इज सपोज टू बी easy right it's supposed to be easy uh, it's easy to record mm -hmm. uh, if you, but if you don't understand why you do it it's just stays a record and mm -hmm. it loses uh, the power to become a learning mm -hmm. well said uh, silvi in some countries i've visited i've met farmers with low literacy you know, cannot write cannot read so what are the initiatives that are in place or uh, your plans to get these farmers also do farm records. Yeah. Low literacy is a challenge. Uh, in some cases, farmers can ask somebody in their family who can read and write to record. But this is not ideal because the farmers are less inclined to check regularly their record. Uh, we are starting to develop a record book using visuals so it can uh, allow farmers with low literacy to, to do a record. Can I show you? Yes, please. I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> so this is still a prototype mm -hmm. or in development. So the farmers can receive the same thing, can receive a crop guide with less text. And you can record in the farm record using icons or labels from product use or his own drawings. Mm -hmm. So that's for him at the end of the crop or during the crop, he can discuss with the extension officers mm -hmm. or other farmers of what is happening in the crop. Mm -hmm. This is brilliant, Sylvie. And also it's very great to have uh, um, initiative on inclusiveness. Um, when will it be available? I think our <laughs> viewers will be very interested also to have it. We're going to pilot this in Nigeria in the coming weeks. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see the results of these efforts, uh, Sylvie, and also it helps our technical teams, including me, no? <laughs> to understand how farmers use our extension materials and also how they comprehend uh, the, with text and without the text that we have. Uh, this helps us review and improve the materials that we have based also from the records that the farmers um, uh, have. Yes, she said. This is very important to work with farmers and their information. Mm -hmm. This is why our monitoring system is built on farmer report. Uh, the monitoring system mirrors the farm mm -hmm. reports, so give it to a signalized transfer mm -hmm. after information to work with farmers, propose them options to improve in terms of uh, mm -hmm. techniques, uh, improve techniques in vegetable production. Thank you very much, Sylvie, for this excellent information and the initiatives you have put in place for knowledge transfer in bringing awareness and importance of farm records. Thank you, Lizette. The take-home messages for this episode are record, analyze, learn from your decision, build your own knowledge, and don't forget to share. Recording is easy, but think of your objectives while you do it. That's the end of our episode. Do you have any questions you would like to be answered in the future episode? Leave us your questions in the comment section or email us at ews.info at iswesi.com. If you like our program, don't forget to share it. Follow or subscribe to our channel to stay connected with us. Stay tuned for the next episode of Around the Veg Table. Curious about vegetable? Talk to Iswesi. Bye-bye.